Good morning, believers. Did you know that God chose you? John 15, 16 says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. God has chosen you. Now you must choose him to be your Lord and Savior. He wants to love you, bless you, and bring you into his family. Second Chronicles seven fourteen through 15 says, Then if my people, who are called by my name, will humble, the, humble themselves, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. My eyes will be open and my ears attentive to every prayer made in this place. When we humble ourselves under his mighty hand, seek his face, and cast our cares upon him, he always hears us. When we pray and obey, God will send his glory. When the disciples were in the upper room in prayer, the power of God came. Then they immediately went into action telling others about the good news. That's in Acts 2, 1 through 6. When revival comes to the United States, we as his believers will have the responsibility to disciple all the new believers that will be swept into the kingdom. It's imperative that we as believers must stop being observers and instead jump into the role of participants. I encourage you to do what God tells you to do in faith, believing that God will bring the results. I exhort you to keep doing the right thing because it is right before God. This kind of obedience brings great rewards. As believers, we are not without influence. Each one of us, as the body of Christ, has a major part in everything God does. 1 Corinthians 12.12 says, The human body has many parts, but the many parts make up the one whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. Choose is a word of great significance. I exhort you to make the right choices. Well, God bless you guys. If you were encouraged today and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click Donate. I love you and am praying for you today.